Hey, what's up guys? So what I want to show you today is how to do your very own valve job on a set of cylinder heads that you got sitting on your bench or maybe going back into your project. I will say first and foremost, before I show you any of this, nothing that I'm about to show you is going to replace the services of a reputable machine shop. Okay, if you got the money, you got the time, take them down to your local machine shop and have them do a three angle valve job on your cylinder heads. It's going to be way better than what I'm about to show you. But I'm going to show you something for those of you that may not have the cash to do that and or maybe don't need to. Maybe you just want to true your valves up to your cylinder heads. So what I hold in my hand here is about five cents worth of five thirty seconds inch vacuum line. In one end, I have a threaded bolt that I've cut the head off of. And this is going to be the magic that makes all of this occur for us. So let's pretend this is a valve. You want to stick your valve through the cylinder head. You want the combustion chamber facing away from you so your cylinder head is up on its side. You put the open end of your vacuum line on your valve. Okay, like so. And then you take your drill and you stick the threaded bolt in the chuck. Now, <clears throat> on the mating surface of the valve, you wanna take your valve grinding compound. I will link this in the description below and just ever so slightly paint some valve grinding compound around the mating surface of the, the valve. Then what you wanna do is you wanna come in and out, in and out, ever so slightly, both forwards and reverse. Okay, and I'll show you that in the next video, how that all looks, the speed, the whole nine yards. Um, but what this does for us is, well, first and foremost, it gives us something to attach to the stem of that valve. But the nice part with using rubber is it takes away any imperfection in the angle or your movement. Maybe you got a shaky hand, whatever. It takes that all out of it and just allows the valve to move in and around where it typically does move, right? So the hose is key to this whole process. Anyway, stand by, I'm gonna show you real time how this looks and the before and after results. Okay, so small block shed 350 cylinder heads. Here's my valve, out of focus, but you get a feel for what type of shape it's in. Just going to slide my valve into the cylinder head and get ready to put my Permatex valve grinding compound on it. Now you don't need a ton of this stuff, just a ever so slight amount. I'm going to get ready to put my drill on the threaded bolt that I have in the other end of the hose, tighten the chuck. And off we go. So you can hear I'm not slamming this valve into the cylinder head by any means. I've got my head over top of the cylinder head and I'm watching the valve go in and out. To make sure I'm not stalling it out too bad. I'm going to turn my drill around in the opposite direction and go the other way. Now, there is an acoustic portion to this that you not only want to be watching, but you want to be listening for, and it's that grinding sound. And what you're listening for is the pitch of that grind changes ever so slightly. And what's happening is you're going from a, a essentially a high ridged area to a flatter, more mated surface between the two materials. And you'll hear that take place while I'm going through this. This seat was quite bad. Again, I'm going a little quicker here, but by no means Am I really slamming that valve into, into contact with the head? A 
again, listening for the sound, watching that valve go in and out. The elasticity of the rubber really allows you to feel, essentially it takes the mistakes out that one can make from really driving that valve into the cylinder head. It cushions it more. There we go, pull the drill off. I'm going to pull the valve out and have a look, wipe it all off. Wipe the seat. You can see already it looks a lot better. Inspect with a light. Some fuzz in there. Then I'm going to put the valve back in. And just check how it sits and how it seats. So there you have it, DIY valve job. Again, I want to be very clear and say that this is by no means a replacement for a machine shop and or a professional valve job, because it's not. There's not a lot of science involved. There's not a lot of measuring. This is backyard redneck engineering valve job. But I hope it gives you some ideas and or a sense that maybe this isn't as difficult as you once thought it was. And maybe you want to tackle it on your own. So by all means, questions and comments are always welcome. Please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I thank you very much for your time and watching this video and I hope it finds you well. Take care.